Day 14, No More Thieves of Hope Yesterday, we learned that St. Therese of Lisieux is a prophet. Specifically, we learned that she is a prophet of mercy who announces God's desire in the present time of mercy to work the amazing miracle of mercy of forming us into great saints through the little way. But for him to work this miracle, we need to give him our trust. Jesus, I trust in you. But maybe there's something holding us back. Maybe we can't yet fully give him our trust. I know I couldn't. I shared in the introduction that when I first learned about the little way, it filled me with the hope that maybe even someone like me could become a saint. But I also share that I'd then run into thieves of hope. Remember them? They're the people who would say things like, That Saint Therese wasn't so little. She was actually quite big. And then they'd go on about Therese's impressive virtues, desires, sacrifices, and sufferings, such that I'd think to myself, Well, maybe the little way is too big for me. Maybe it's just the big way wrapped in a sugar-coated crust and a flowery rhetoric. And with that, I'd get discouraged. But then, eventually, I'd read something in Therese's writings that would give me hope. And then, it wouldn't take long before the thieves of hope were getting me discouraged again. This went on and on. Tired of being on such a roller coaster of spiritual ups and downs, I decided to read just about everything St. Therese ever wrote, trying to find out if the little way really could help someone like me to become a saint. Well, my research was not in vain. I found what I was looking for. Rather anticlimactically, it's called Letter 197 in the rest collected letters and it offers some of the most consoling words I've ever read. It destroys all the arguments of the thieves of hope and set me full sail upon the waves of confidence and love. But before I share it, I should first give a bit of background. Letter 197 is St. Therese's response to a letter from her sister Marie, Sister Marie of the Sacred Heart, which itself was a response to one of St. Therese's teachings that we read earlier, the little bird that could not fly. Remember that image? We covered it in the reading for day 9. Well, that story of the pitiful little bird with the heart of an eagle was actually Therese's attempt to explain her little way to her sister Marie. Problem is, Marie didn't like the story. She felt it was inaccurate. After all, she lived in the same convent as Therese. So every day, she saw her sister's impressive desires, sacrifices, and sufferings right up close. And she concluded that the future saint was no little bird at all. Instead, she was an eagle. Moreover, Marie felt that she herself was the little bird and that there was no hope for her to love God as the rest loved him. Even though she writes like one of the thieves of hope, I thank God for Marie. I mean, I couldn't have put the objection better myself. Actually, I did put it myself because I just paraphrased her thoughts, but you get the idea. Anyway, Therese responds to Marie with her glorious letter 197. The letter speaks for itself, so let it speak to you. Please read it slowly and prayerfully. Dear Sister, how can you ask me if it is possible for you to love God as I love Him? If you had understood the story of my little bird, 
you would not have asked me this question. My fill in the blanks, virtues, talents, many gifts, etc. are nothing. They are not what give me the unlimited confidence that I feel in my heart. They are, to tell the truth, the spiritual riches that render one unjust when one rests in them with complacence and one when one believes they are something great. Uh, I really feel that it is not this at all that pleases God in my little soul. What pleases Him is that He sees me loving my littleness and my poverty, the blind hope that I have in His mercy. That is my only treasure. Why would this treasure not be yours? Oh dear sister, I beg you, understand your little girl. Understand that to love Jesus, to be his victim of love, the weaker one is, without desires or virtues, the more suited one is for the workings of this consuming and transforming love. But we must consent to remain always poor and without strength. And this is the difficulty. Uh, let us remain then very far from all that sparkles. Let us love our littleness. Let us love to feel nothing. Then we shall be poor in spirit. And Jesus will come to look for us. And he will transform us in flames of love. Oh, how I would like to be able to make you understand what I feel, it is confidence and nothing but confidence that must lead us to love. Today's prayer, come Holy Spirit, fire of mercy, help me to embrace the little way with all my heart. Amen.